Welcome to Total Training for Visual Studio 2008. In this series, we'll give you an around-the-world tour of the tools, features, and controls in Visual Studio 2008 and the .NET Framework 3.5 as they relate to Windows Forms projects. One of the most requested features for Visual Studio was the ability to target multiple versions of the .NET Framework. In the past, Visual Studio was designed specifically to work with one particular version of the .NET Framework. So with Visual Studio .NET, the first release, that worked with the .NET Framework 1.0. In order to work with the .NET Framework 1.1, you would use Visual Studio 2003. For people working with the .NET Framework 2.0, you would opt to use Visual Studio 2005. Now, with Visual Studio 2008, this is no longer the case. You don't have to install the proper edition of Visual Studio to work with a particular edition of the framework. With 2008, you can work with the framework 2.0, 3.0, and 3.5. This is probably good news for those of you who have already worked with previous versions of Visual Studio. This feature is called multi-targeting. Multi-targeting enables you to use the versions of the .NET framework all within the same tool. Let's take a look at how we can take advantage of this feature. Let's begin by launching Visual Studio 2008. We'll create a sample project, File, New, Project. Now notice, at the top right-hand part of your screen, you see a new drop-down box. This allows you to do multi-targeting. As you can see, if I select .NET Framework 2.0, the installed templates change. I no longer see WPF applications because that wasn't introduced until the .NET Framework 3.0. If I go from 3.0 to 3.5, I see that I have a variety of new applications available for me, particularly in the web space. So for 3.5, I see that I have ASP.NET AJAX applications available, but in 3.0, they don't exist. As you can see, the IDE is smart enough to let you know what you can work with depending on what edition of the framework you're working with. Let's go ahead and create a sample project. We'll use .NET Framework 2.0, and we'll create a traditional Windows Forms application. Select OK, and leave the default location as is. Visual Studio is also smart enough to know what you can do with the particular edition of the framework once you're already inside of a project. In your Solution Explorer, select the Show All Files button. This will allow you to see the references that you can work with in this particular application. Right-click on the reference and say Add Reference. This pops up the Add Reference dialog box. Scroll down to the System section. As you can see, there are a variety of system dot components. These all belong inside the .NET framework. You have system.data for working with data, system.configuration for setting up configuration options, but notice some of the options are grayed out. They're grayed out because these belong to the framework 3.5. If you scroll down, you'll see others that belong to the framework 3.0. Visual Studio is smart enough not to allow you to be able to add references to something that didn't exist when this particular version was released. So in this case, I'm working with a Windows application in the .NET Framework 2.0, and I can only work with 2.0 applications. Another important note is to note that the fact that the runtime is the same regardless of whether you're using 3.0, 2.0, or 3.5. They all rely on the same common language runtime, which we'll talk about in a moment. Cancel out and close the application. 